Hi, Yogesh. Hi, Krishna. Hi, hi, hi. I'm, uh, I'm excited. Yeah, me too. Um, where are you calling from? So I'm calling from Nepal. It's 7.48 a.m. Saturday morning. Oh, my God. Well, thanks for joining us. I hope that uh, I see the sun shining behind you. Um, I think you're probably my first person from Nepal that I've interviewed, so that's awesome. That's great. I was that's wondering great. where your photos where your photos were from. So my photos are from vivid places. Uh, I've got fo uh, food photography. I've got cultural images. I've got um, buildings from Malaysia, Singapore, and from Mauritius that I had traveled back in 2016. So I've got plenty of images, diverse images. And I would love to have a different portfolio. <laughs> um, awesome. Well, what are some of the things that you've been working on lately? So recently, I am working on my college applications. I am just 19 years old. And wow. I've, been, I've been trying to get into college in the United States. And it's been quite something that I have been applying and I made it to MIT boot camps last fall and I raised my funds by selling my photos. So mm -hmm. I am working as a photographer as well here in Nepal and I am doing mm -hmm. photography right now and I am mm -hmm. applying to colleges. I'm wrapping up my colleges and I'm going for a trek really soon and I would be clicking some pictures of the trek mm -hmm. and also would be applying and also would be sharing my photos from the trek. What do you? What is it about Nepal that you think nobody knows? So, Nepal is remembered or considered the land of mountains and the Lord, uh, birthplace of Lord Buddha. But not just limited to that; it's such a diverse place in terms of cultural aspect, in terms of natural heritage. But what distinct, distinct thing that I would like to mention is about the people, the lifestyle. And, different lifestyle and have a different a way of living and how they live on their daily life that's really different what's so different about it so the different thing is it maybe it's something isolated because in terms of technology it's rapidly growing but people have nomadic lifestyle people have a uh, different uh, lifestyle in mountains and different topography so pe people are diverse and the community is really diverse so what do you want to go study so my study uh, as primarily would be business studies and and doing major photography alongside so I want to do business studies and photography alongside what is the most favorite thing that you've captured so far? The most favorite thing that I captured so far is one of the cultural event uh, back in 2019, I guess, because 2020 was such a time that we did not go out and have a free time. We were isolated in home and we we're staying at home. But in 2019, it was such an event. Uh, it used, it, it, it's held in midnight and it was during October, November, it's chilly winter evening, but it, it was such a, an amazing time. It was a cultural event back in 2019. It was a cultural event of the play drama. It's, uh, it, it's known as Khatik Nach. And I was staying up late till 2 a.m., 3 a.m. It was, I was waiting for the, for, for the stage and waiting for that particular moment that I had wait for, I had waited for eight hours to get that yeah. perfect shot. And I got that perfect shot among other photographers as well, but it was selected to uh, Nepal's best photo of 2019-20 session. And it, it by who? Perfect. Sorry? By who? By Nep uh, Nepalese uh, photojournalists and by the, and by the Nepal Tourism Board. So it which was one, one which photo is that? Is that on your page? Yeah, it's on it's on the page. Is it the one of the woman with the mask? No, no, no. It's not the it, it it's the entry entry. 
it was one of the best uh, out of 176 photos and it was exhibited at nepal food nepal art council wow. and which gave How'd me that happen? which gave me the positivity to have that patience that taught me a lot and it has helped me have that patience level to get that perfect shot i was constantly waiting for that and hopefully in the days i had in the trick i would get some more amazing photos to share with you all yeah what how did you how did they know about you to uh to give you that was there a competition that you went to it was a competition award? it was a nepal worldwide photo contest it was a worldwide uh, nepal wide photo contest by nepalese photojournalists and the nepal tourism board and it was um i applied i, I shared my photo uh, and it was exhibited and that's all that it gave me all those positive energy to have that level of con uh, confidence that patience and to wait and yeah. I uh I like your nighttime images. Uh how do you how do you can you tell me a little bit more about the st street culture and the street life? So I would say uh Nepal is already a set. Uh there's no street there's probably no studios and it's a world in itself I would say. It's a uh, some people say it's a cliche statement but i do agree that nepal is a world in itself because uh, we don't uh, we don't need to set stories or we don't need to find things to capture but we there's already existing things and we just need to uh right uh, play, wait for the right moment to capture different things different people and uh have that right moment towards the streets it's a bustling street Uh, it's a busy street like uh and there's people having people around the alleys and that's really exciting to capture through that delhi bustle lifestyle and yeah people enjoy and we as a photographer uh i as a photographer i enjoy capturing people in the streets and the events that happen and that's it what do you What do you think that's missing that you would like to like fill in with your photography? Like what do you feel like is missing around you? So the missing the, I, that I feel would be a better exposure for people because uh people people rarely know that there are different stories I have I had this capture of a story of Navadurga who who are the living goddesses who who character themselves as a living goddesses but many people don't know about it so people would know more about by capturing i have this photo of three deities uh who are living goddesses who have the tan tantric uh, energy and they they share uh they they share that energy towards uh, their family their community so i am thinking of uh carving their story maybe this year because it was really was not as expected and i would try to do this time and would love to share so that people would know about their living they're still having that sort of lifestyle from back then and they have been they've pretty they're pretty uh, living the nomadic lifestyle and they 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 walk on foot they go to different villages and they share that energy mm -hmm. You have a lot of really like up close images of people that look like strangers. How do you get them to say okay for you to take pictures of them? So first I would ask them so shall I take the pictures and they would really be happy. They're pretty uh conscious towards the cameras and they're willing to smile and that's also one of the qualities that may please exhibit their smile they they share that smile so that you would want to capture them and you would want you would be happy to just see them through the lens and that's what i love doing it and that particular moment when i see that smile the resilience that they have is something that stands out and that differentiates people from different communities and in the police what's the difference do you think between the older generation and the younger generation 
so the difference in, in terms of uh, photographing would be uh, uh different generations the older generations are really patient they love what they're doing so they do not rush actually so if they want to get a picture of portrait so there is a portrait of an of an old guy who is uh who is having a hookah so mm. when i clicked that photo he was in such a poise and he was he was just in one see that photo. one it's so cool this picture yeah, the, the black and white one he was in such yeah. a poise that he did not want to rush it he gave it a, he gave a natural uh, a natural pose and he loved that so in that terms the patience the resilience and uh the enjoyment that they had in particular moment that's that's really differentiating from the younger generation yeah i mean it looks like an art piece that picture that black and white black and white black and white one mm-hmm. cuz you also have like all these different textures like the thing that he's wearing on his head and what he's holding and his hands are all textured so it just like looks so detailed it's amazing yeah So what is your like ultimate what's your passion what's your ultimate goal like what would be if you could get one dream project what would it be So the dream project that if I would be given that opportunity would be definitely traveling around the world and running out of memory running out of my memory of my SD card so that I would capture more and experience more experience more uh, experience to experience to catch up with the different people uh, uh, communicate with them and have different experience of traveling world and living life so mm-hmm. there's something i would want to do it if given the opportunity and hopefully i would love to travel the world i love traveling and i have been so i've been so impatient to travel and mm-hmm. yeah hopefully soon i would love to travel the world Well meanwhile we meanwhile we have these photos to travel through like yours especially with so many people that have never been to somewhere like Nepal or has no idea what it looks like so definitely definitely if you are thinking and if you are doubtful whether you should uh, visit Nepal or not definitely it should be in your bucket list there's so much of things to do so much of adventure to do and i said earlier even though it's a cliche statement but i would like to reiterate about world being itself nepal being the world itself so we got to capture the mountains the topography is the lifestyle mm. the architectures the temples the cultural heritage sites and the natural heritage sites they're all said we don't need to create it like right. we do in the film set and we have to produce it we by producing by investing a lot of money it's already there that exists like uh it has been over 8 800 thousand years that the temples have been existed and it's such a glory and it's such a pride along with that as i said the people who are such welcoming if you uh, if i go to trick and if i want to click the picture i i would ask them so shall i take a picture they would be really happy they would, they would be smiling and they mm. they would want they would want you to take their pictures that they share their happiness has, their... has nepal ever been colonized it was not colonized it has been you know i've uh, noticed a difference between people countries that have been colonized and countries that have not the countries that have been colonized they hate when people come up to them with a the camera taking a picture yeah maybe maybe yeah in that terms nepal has not been colonized and and has been independent state uh from the british empire so in that terms people are ready to share you that joy in within you and they would want to share and they would want people to take it with them in captures and in mm. photo, in photos how do you improve like how do you learn in your in your art how do you learn how to improve So I uh, I had this DSLR camera back in 2000 maybe 12 or 10 that basic entry level DSLR that I had uh, which was Canon 11 Canon EOS 1100D I had this like over 8 8 9 10 years that I had used it was like a toy for me and thanks to my parents who gifted me this camera and 
I got along with it. I got classes. I was tra- uh, I I went uh, photo walks along with the senior photographers, and I I. How did you find them? Myself. How did you find the senior photographers? So we do have this culture of going uh, going for photo walks every weekends, and they would push it in Facebook and in terms of networking. I am. really persuasive and i talk to them i don't hesitate if something that if there's something i want to learn then i would persuade them i need to learn this could you help me with this so yeah they would be readily available to help and they would want to share their experiences their learnings and they so would So it's mostly through photos. other people Sorry it's mostly, uh, it's mostly through other people Yeah uh, along with you, that i i also self learn of techniques i learn from the books and photo walks personal photo photo walks as well so even when i feel low i i want to go to streets and capture and just free it's such a stress buster and that's what i love doing it so now i have uh three to four cameras i have this is my first camera that i had yeah and also along with that i am using a film camera so Very people nice. people here of are, are levitating and uh getting towards the film cameras it's such a uh fascinating thing out here so people are getting back it's it's reverse actually right now server and and current i'm using the sony a7r3 and awesome. uh, that's something i do for professional photography and i've got drones and i Whoa. love capturing things why have you so used have- your drone for So I want to travel a lot this 2021 and I am thinking of doing the video as well. So hopefully I would share I would be able to share more videos, more footages, more montages. So I'm looking forward for that. That's amazing. Well, thank you you Bash for coming on. This has been so so awesome to learn. Uh you have me like so interested now to visit So and just thank you so keep, much Krishna. Keep sh- keep showing us a new perspective. Um I hope more people get to see your imagery and um stay safe. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for feeling with feeling me with the positive energy and <sighs> encouraging. Bye bye. Have a good Friday. Bye. Good you too. Bye bye.